Hello everyone, this is Jeannie here from Belly Beads. Today I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to create the Jeannie Bottle Paper Bead Strip. And the link here is G333. What this means is when you purchase my paper strips off my website at bellybeads.com, you're going to get a code that brings you right here on how to roll those strips. So each strip has a different link, which is kind of neat, and, and it's helpful too. So let me take one of these beads out so I can show you what it looks like, and then I'm going to roll it in front of you. And when you purchase my paper strips, you're going to get them in a really nice Ziploc bag. This is the Genie Bottle. Is that not the cutest thing? And what you can do with this is really kind of cool. If you do a lot of wire wrapping, you can even wrap a wire around that and use it as a pendant. So that's my Genie Bottle. Also, I'm using Elmer's Clear Glue in this really kind of cool um, container, plastic container. It has a really nice nozzle on it, so when you're placing the glue on your paper strips, it gives a nice fair amount. Now, I also sell these on my website. You get three of them for $1, and they come filled with Elmer's Clear Glue, which is kind of cool. It uh, also comes with a funnel, so you can refill it at any time. I'm using a paper bead roller from Julie Baldick's um, Paper Bead Crafts. That's a number one. You can use any kind of paper bead roller. It's fine. I have a ton of them, and in other tutorials, you'll see me use all of them. I have, um, this is a small tiny pin so that's the one I would recommend with your genie bottle so let's get started here now this is the way it's shaped which is kind of cool and everything is precisely cut I cut everything out of my uh, out of a Cricut machine so they're all nice and cut so you want to go ahead and condition your paper and what I mean by that is just running it through your fingers because you want to have a little get a little curl to this paper bead strip because it allow it to be a little bit more easier when you are rolling it plus it won't have too many ridges and what I mean by that is if you have stiff paper and you're rolling it you're gonna get a lot of the ridges in it so you want to make sure that it's really really soft get that paper soft especially if you're having over 65 pound cardstock just keep running it through your fingers unless you like the ridges and of course I know a lot of you do but all right so there we go you want to grab your paper bead roller there's a little slot in the pin you want to get the widest angle of your paper bead strip and you want to slide that right in there now I usually have it rest on my index finger and my thumb is guiding it towards the center there's really no trick to this one strip rather than just keeping it centered until I want you to take a look at that end while I'm rolling it you're gonna notice it's sliding down and you want to be mindful of you want to be mindful of this end because while I'm rolling it it might have a tendency to go slide all the way down so you want to make sure that that side remains just like this and as you can see when you get towards the end you want to remain at the bottom and you want to keep it nice and leveled and straight and we're almost done all right there you go now when you get towards the end you want to flip it over if that's what you do I mean everyone rolls a little differently. I'm very generous with my um, my glue as you can see. I like to roll it right through the bead itself and all the way up because it prepares for the glazing process and I keep I, it definitely secures it a little bit better. So there you go. Now there, we're going to do a little bit more adjustments on this but I want to push this off. I don't want to pull it off. Push it off. Now to make the bottle a little bit more fuller in the middle you want to just push it up and there you go there's the genie bottle here's two genie bottles whoops let's look at the magic that comes out of it right <laughs> all right so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up 
subscribe if you have not subscribed already and please share the link and if you'd like to purchase any of these paper strips it's bellybeads.com I will place everything in the links below and thank you so much for all your support see you next time